Hello everyone. It's time for my mid-year K-pop photo card collection update. So I'm going to be flipping through my entire photo card collection and showing you every single thing that I have. This time I won't be necessarily pointing out what every single card is or where they're from. I'm going to save that for the end of the year photo card collection video. But if you are curious what any specific card is, feel free to, you know, link the timestamp in a comment and I will let you know. My collection currently has nine A4 size binders and two A5 size binders. So there's a lot to get through. So I will just go ahead and jump into it. I'll put timestamps in the description for the artists in case you want to skip around. I'm going to start with my biggest collections and then work down to my smallest collections. All right, let's get started. All right, the first collection I'm gonna be showing you is my IU binder. Currently we're sitting at three A4 size binders per collection. So this is the first one. I start everything chronologically. So this starts in, uh oh, 2010 maybe? I think is when these are from. And then moves forward from there. For IU, I collect basically everything that I can. Now IU is not um, an artist that has a lot of stuff for her albums. Like she doesn't have a lot of album photo cards. She only really started doing them um, in recent years. But from her early years, she has a lot of like merch stuff. So whether that be uh, Season's Greeting stuff or merch that came from partnerships with companies, like with these right here. Um, a lot of her early stuff is like, again, like this. It's like a uh, company or it's like CF promotional goods. And then she has a lot of stuff from concerts and things like that as well. Um, and that is how I managed to fill like two full binders before I even start getting to her <laughs> album, um, album photo cards in recent years. For these one Japan postcards, I don't have all of them. I only have three out of the five currently. And similarly for her Japan single photos, um, I have four out of the seven for Can You Hear Me and three out of the six for Monday Afternoon. And you will see placeholders like this as well for old merch items that I particularly want, but don't have yet. That is everything for the first IU binder. All right, and we have her second binder, which starts in, I believe, 2016. Yeah, with her 2016 concert photo book cards. So you can see how she, she still had like merch, but she had less in the past because that first binder covers from 2010 all the way to 20, basically the beginning of 2017, because this is the season's greetings from that year. There were two versions of the Season's Greetings this year. That's why there's two with the same photo shoots, but different photos. And here we're to her palette album. Twenty 
18 now. And 2019. So you can see there wasn't a lot going on merch wise in those years, or at least not that I have. These technically could go in 2018, but I put them in 2019 because the last set, the last concert um, for these photos was in 2019. So I opted to put them all together in 2019. No reason really. I'm gonna get to her love poem era stuff. Okay, and last, the third and final IU binder, which I've just realized is like shockingly full at this point, <laughs> but I'm not gonna think about it right now. So since the last thing was the season's greetings, we pick up right at the beginning of 2020. Recently, she started doing a merch series that's like photo cards in a tin case. And she has quite a few of them out now, but this is the very first one that she released. This is my fan club membership card. Still waiting on the fan kit for this year's. And now we're at 2021. to Lilac, which is by far the most um, inclusions that she's ever had with one of her albums. And now we're at the 2022 season's greetings. And her documentary release. The last thing in here currently is these Pepsi cards. She does have stuff that she released, um, some inclusions like a, a photo card and stuff with her light stick, but I forgot to store it in my last storing video. So I have it, but it's not in the binder yet. But that is, so far, my entire IU collection. Okay, now let's do 17, since this is another huge collection. So currently I have two A4 binders for 17, one completely full one and one that I've just barely started, and then one um, A5 binder. So as you can see, I collect Hoshi, Woozy, and Sungkwan for all of their Korean and Japanese album photo cards. And I collect some select um, large inclusions, like you can see here, just ones that I end up liking. Um, currently for their Korean album photo cards, I am totally complete for Woozy and Sunkwon. And I'm just missing one Hoshi card. And then as you can see for their uh, Japanese album photo cards, I have quite a lot to go.
completing an ode with these folded posters was like such a big accomplishment for me because for the longest time it was the thing stopping me from collecting 17. I was intimidated by an ode, but I got there eventually. I really want to work on the Torsion I soon. I really like these, the backs of these cards a lot. got all the Ataka carrot version cards. I opted to store these in here rather than in the small binders because they are made of PVC. And even with sleeves, I'm just not willing to, to risk that basically. And then this first binder ends with Aino Chikara, their Japanese release. Now the second 17 album binder. So currently the only thing in here is like Face the Sun and the repackage, which as you can see, I'm not even close to completed. I think I have everything on this page now actually. Um, and we'll be able to store it soon, thankfully. But you can at least see the progress that I've made so far. Still quite a ways to go, but I'm taking it slow. Carrot version random, and then the carrot version cards. These are Hoshi's. Um, Woozies I have. I bought them at the same time as Hoshi's. And I stored these and I remember thinking, oh, I'll store woozies later. I'm too tired right now. And now I can't find the cards. I have no idea where I put them. Like seriously, I need to just like tear apart my whole room and try and find them. I do have these and I purchased Sinquans. Um, I will find them, <laughs> I don't know. But then the only other thing in the back here, I haven't even set up for the Face of Sun repackage. I just have this. <laughs> uh hoshi season's greetings cutout that's too big for my non-album binder because it's cute and i can't part with it i think it's adorable but that's it for the 17 album binders so this is my last 17 binder and it's a mini a5 binder that i use for all their non-album stuff i don't collect any of it strictly more just what i want the binder itself is their caroline merch as you can see i just think these illustrations were so pretty and cute I was obsessed with all the merch from this Caroland, so I had to get this binder. These are stored in like totally random order that doesn't make sense, so I will roughly say kind of what things are as I go through, but I start with these Polaroids from the Incomplete DVD, Incomplete Concert DVD, I think, because I just thought it'd be nice to start this binder with a full group thing, since I don't collect anything full group. It's nice to see all the faces, you know? And then originally this was the first page because it has my carrot membership card. It became the second after I decided to put this in the front. A DVD and an album card, and then we get into some trading cards. These are also concert trading cards. Then some season's greetings cards, some h and cards. These are uh, Weaver's Pogs. And now we get into like the photo book card section. So Hoshi's TTT, Woozy's TTT, 
And then the Social Club uh, photo book cards. And last, the uh, Caroline Memory Book. Then just some uh, Kino cards. Those are big Kino postcards. Just random ones that I wanted to keep. Some Susan's Greetings stuff. DVD large inclusions. Love this. This is now, I think, Weaver's Pods again. Yep, and this is the thing that went in the beginning of this binder. So that is my whole 17 collection. Okay, time for my Itsy collection. So I collect Itsy OT5 for Korean album photo cards, and I think I'm adding Japanese album photo cards. I have a few, I have a few, but I haven't decided whether I'll keep going with it, but it's on the table. I collect both, um, solo and unit cards. I used to collect It's Yoti 5 and I had like everything before Crazy in Love completely finished. Um, and then I decided to give it up and I sold all of it. <laughs> and then I changed my mind and I came back and I'm, I'm recollecting. So this is all recollecting stuff that I used to have and no longer have. Which is kind of painful but I'm still having fun with it so it's okay. <laughs> I've made my peace with it. I do also collect their like special, I don't collect anything um, non-album for them, but I do collect their special edition album photo cards as well, like the random cards for those. And for this, I did collect um, one row of uh, Lucky Draws just to like fill out the order. Currently I'm actually waiting on my next Itzy albums for sneakers. This is getting into setup for their Japanese stuff, which is a maybe, but I have some of it for voltage. And then I haven't set up for their new album yet, so that is everything for Itzy. Okay, time for NCT. For most groups, I store like photo cards and large inclusions mixed together, but for NCT, I have one for photo cards and one for large inclusions. Individually, I collect all Korean and Japanese album photo cards for Hechan and Runjin, plus select non-album photo cards that I like. But I do start with a couple like full group sets, and I think they are all are um, dream full group sets. Right, this marks the beginning of Hechon's photo card section. Now it starts with his album photo cards and I do store everything chronologically with Dream and 127 and You all mixed in. It just, I don't know, splitting them up with the way the different You units are, it seemed kind of complicated. So it just made more sense to me to mix them all in together. And Japanese stuff just mixed in as well, not separately. Oh, and again, like the, with the SM Town thing, like where would that go? So, and I do collect, I did collect those for both Hitch and Runjun. And then this is where um, Beatbox goes. I do have all these on the way. Um, I just don't have them marked off, but they are all on the way. And now begins his non-album photo card stuff. So I start with a couple like themed pages because I just like them together. So this is the From Home theme page. Um, all the cards that are with the like From Home photo shoots because I was obsessed. I don't even really like the song From Home. I just like this photo shoot so much. And then I have a page just for his dream show cards. These aren't like all of his dream show cards. They're just like the ones that I liked the most, or that were most reasonable to purchase, I guess. 
And then from here, the rest of his uh, album or non-album photo cards are just chronologically. This is sort of a theme page as well. It's like all hot sauce themed, but it still is. It does fit chronologically, so I just keep it. I don't know, chronologically. And now we're to Runjun section. And once again, just forgive that I can't pronounce his name. I'm, I've tried, I'm incapable. So just like Hichan, it's chronologically all units mixed together, um, Korean and Japanese mixed together, everything like that. And in terms of like the way I've got these laid out on the page, if you're curious, because it probably seems really random with each page, I lay it out so that like the backs of the cards look nice, you know? That's like the main thing that I'm going for is that the cards that are from the same era are together and like the backs look nice and cohesive. So like this is like a weird eye shape, but it's because the backs look good like that because this is the odd one out. Hope that makes sense. And again, I have these two beatbox cards on the way. They're just not here yet. And my little page for Runjun uh, non-album cards. I used to have more, but I decided to downsize. So these are just the ones that I have currently. And that is the photo card binder. All right, this is my NCT large inclusions binder. I used to collect hitch on large inclusions like really extensively. Um, and then like, I don't know, probably a year ago at this point, I decided to downsize it a lot. And now I just have the stuff that I like a lot. So this starts with some <laughs> A4 posters. These are fan made. I think they might be from a fan site. I literally don't remember. I got them like secondhand, not like from a fan site. And they're just pretty, so they go in my binder. These do have a purpose. They kind of like loosely separate things into categories. Let's hope I can remember what they are because I don't go in this binder that much these days. I don't like store a lot in it. So this is, in general, Hitch on Large Inclusions, although I think towards the end, like, general dream stuff gets mixed in. I honestly don't remember, but let's just go through it and <laughs> see, honestly. Some of this stuff is like merch, some of it's from like fan signs or events or stuff like that. Oh, Neo Zone. Light of my life. Some of these, like these are album postcards technically. I love it. This poster. I remember now. That's Hitch on stuff. After this, it's like everybody else in NCT uh, inclusions. So it starts off with some Runjun stuff. Hot sauce. I love you. As you can see by how much hot sauce stuff I have. And Cafe 7, I mean, every part of hot sauce was perfect. And then now some 127 stuff. This is fan made, that's just to fill that pocket. And then after this <laughs> is dark territory. <laughs> this After this is not album inclusions, there's like a couple merch things at the very beginning. And then after that, it's all album cutouts from like when I cut up extra albums that I had, or albums that I didn't want, but just wanted a few photos from. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to see what the deepest recesses of my mind look like, I will show you. I am going to flip through it really quickly, and then we'll move on and never speak of it again.
All right, that's the end of that. Okay, this is my last A4 binder. I do have an A5 binder after this, but this is what I call the SM Girl Rips binder because it has Red Velvet Solgi and Taeyeon. All right, we start with Solgi. Now for Solgi, I collect all of her Korean and Japanese album photo cards. There are some in here that um, are not marked off that should be marked off because I've gone and purchased them. Like I think I've went and repurchased these after I lost the package. Like I have this um, waiting to be stored, for example. Oh, I did collect her SM Town stuff as well. Unfortunately, I collected the SM Town stuff for all four of the SM artists <laughs> that I collect, which is brutal. And this is her most recent stuff. Then I do just have some random large inclusions that I like from, some from merch, some from albums. And now we are to Tan. So, for Tan, I collect all of her photo cards. Korean, Japanese, ones from Girls' Generation, and her solo cards. So, all of it. And it's all stored just chronologically, so like mixed in together. Like these are Japanese cards, um, but they're still all presented in the same order. I'm only missing one card currently, which is this card, the O, like limited edition one that was only included in like the first 10,000 albums or something. That's the only card that I'm missing. And I do have some random large inclusions mixed in. This isn't in chronological order. I just needed to fill that pocket. I don't really know if her early albums or if um, like early Girls' Generation al albums had large inclusions, but for all of her later albums, I did collect all of the large inclusions as well. everything for tan okay we've made it to my very last binder and frankly my cutest one <laughs> in my opinion because it's pink and sparkly and i'm obsessed this is my a5 binder for twice sauna now for sauna as you can probably tell i don't collect everything i just collect the cards that i like most from each era so there are some areas where i don't have all the cards for example, um, like Yes or Yes, that hand card, I didn't collect that. That really thin, like, gold foil card from Feel Special, I didn't collect that. And basically when I was deciding what to collect and what not, it was partially like what would, what cards I liked and also what would make a good four, or four pocket layout, basically. That's sort of what I prioritized because I want this collection to be cute and fun more than anything else. So that is what I've prioritized. I don't have anything for more and more. the cards for Formula of Love. And that is everything. So that is currently my entire photo card collection. 
it looks like I've made pretty decent progress on my New Year's goals um, that I made in that New Year's video earlier this year. And this was a good reminder of the things that I still need to do if I want to meet those goals. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know in a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.